Hello and welcome to Reading Now. This is our advanced phonics lessons where we read a word that has a little bit more uh, complex phonics skill to learn. All right, here is our first word for today. How do we read this word? Well, when I look at this word, I see that I have a Q and a U at the beginning. There's a lot of vowels in this word, but because there's a Q, I know that this U is working together with the Q. And I know that Q-U is the way we spell the blend Cool. Cool. I'm going to start my sound bar here. Sound bar. That lets me know that this is how it sounds, not how it's spelled. So, cool. 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 All right. After the U, I still see some more vowels. I see an I and an E. So some things to know about I. I, as a vowel, can pair and make vowel teams with other vowels, but it doesn't always. I can pair with E when I is the first vowel, and I can also pair with GH, even though they're not vowels, Together, I-G-H makes a vowel team, all right? And they can both say I, or I-E can also make the E sound. So I do see that we have an I-E vowel team here. So it could be E or I. But I doesn't always pair with a vowel after it. If that's the case, then the I might be long, I, and the E could make its own sound. Let's try the vowel team first. If it's this vowel team, it's probably going to make the E sound. E. And then, of course, we have our T. So let's try that. Queet. Queet. Does that sound like a word you know? All right, so we need, it doesn't. So we need to try the other option. We're going to try I making a separate sound from E. All right, and if that's the case, that means it's two syllables. And then this is our first syllable, and this is our second syllable. So our first syllable would be quai, quai. Our second syllable, I see E, one vowel with a consonant after it. That vowel's probably short. Et. Now let's say it like a word. Quiet. Quiet. Does that sound like a word you know? It's pretty close. Why did I put a question there? Because we don't usually say quiet, et. How do we usually say that word? Quiet, it. Well, where does the it come from? Okay, so we need to talk about schwa. Here is the symbol for schwa. It's an upside down E. It's so lazy. It doesn't even have its own symbol. Lazy. <laughs> All right, so what is it really? It's the sound we make when we need to make the vowel sound very quickly and without a lot of fuss. Sometimes we call it muffled. Muffled. We don't really say the sound completely. 
and we say the easiest sound. So down here in the corner, I'm writing one of my favorite schwa sound words, and this is about, about. The A at the beginning is making the schwa sound, uh, about. But if you notice, if you put your hands on your face when you say the word about, about, when you make the uh sound at the beginning, your face isn't really moving that much. We're not moving our face around to make that long A sound or the short A sound. We're just being lazy and we're saying uh, 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 about. All right, so it's the lazy sound. A sound when it's lazy is usually uh. E sound when it's lazy is usually very similar to I, the short I sound. But it's not quite the short I sound. That's why we use the symbol of the upside down E for the schwa, it. But E's usually sound, usual sound for the schwa sounds like a short I. Quiet, quiet. And that's where we get those sounds from. So our word today is quiet. Ooh, there was a lot going on in that word. Let me know if you have any questions about this word, schwa sounds, or any other sounds in this word or any other word. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, follow my videos so that you can see more phonics videos. If this was too hard for you today, I have some easier spelling now and reading now videos on my YouTube channel. If you need more help, uh, I teach live classes on OutSchool. Check the description for a link to my classes on OutSchool. I also do one-on-one -on -one and small group tutoring off of OutSchool. Um, and here is, right there is my email, readingartnow at reagan.com. So parents, make sure you stop the guessing. You don't have to guess why this is quiet. We do know all the rules. And let me help you learn them. And I will see you tomorrow.